getting right into today's video, we're starting off by removing my client's current design. If you guys didn't see her last video, definitely go check it out. We're gonna get started by just removing the design at a speed of 12,000 RPMs on my e-file. I'm using a medium grit five in one bit. These are my favorite. And I'm just pretty much going in until I fully remove that. I'm using very light pressure when doing this process. I'm not trying to remove bulk acrylic. I just want to simply take that top coat and gel polish right off. We're gonna be doing a simple fill on her nails. So I wanna make sure that I keep all the thickness in all the right places and we are only removing that design and removing any lifting she may have. Now on this nail, she does have a little bit of lifting, so I'm gonna go ahead and focus on that simply by filing on that acrylic until it kind of just lifts off on its own. And I'm actually just gonna thin it all the way down, and then once I go in with my mandrel bit, which I'm doing here, I'm gonna be able to fully remove that very easily. So I'm gonna go in and use my mandrel bit at a speed of 4,000 RPMs. I'm gently pushing back her cuticle and then filing her natural nail very, very gently at a low speed and a low amount of pressure. We're just simply buffing off that shine and prepping her natural nail so all the products adhere very well. Next, I'm going in with this diamond bit. It's a tapered bit, which I have been obsessed with. It works extremely well to get rid of all that dead skin and also get into that hard to reach area. It's super, super thin and nice and tapered, which helps to get in those tight spaces. We're gonna go ahead and just gently do that, still at 4,000 RPMs. Next, we're going in with the cuticle ball bit. I don't like to trim or nip anything off if it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna go in and gently buff off that dead skin. Any dryness she may have will easily flake off at this point. You can see it's very, very satisfying. Still have my e-file at 4,000 RPMs, and I'm just gonna quickly do that with very light amount of pressure. Very quickly using a lint-free wipe, a little bit of Young Nail Swipe, cleaning the surface of her natural nail specifically, removing all that excess dust and dehydrating her natural nail. We're now going in with the Not Polished Triple X Bond. I'm focusing just on that natural nail that is exposed and doing two coats just to be safe.
Next, we're going in with our acrylic application. I am using my Kiara Sky Monomer, and along with that, I'm using my Profiles Backstage Sculpted Like It's Hot in the number 10. It is slightly smaller than my other brushes, so I feel like it is always perfect to use a smaller brush if you're only gonna be picking up smaller beads. And for a fill, we do not need to pick up a huge amount of acrylic, so we're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna be infilling just that growth and then slightly rebalancing the rest of the nail if I feel like it needs it. As we all know, as the nail grows out, they obviously move downwards. So wherever you have placed the apex previously, it does move down. So it is important to kind of slightly rebalance that acrylic with more acrylic or filing if you need to file it a little bit. I'm simply placing a medium bead of acrylic right below the cuticle area, pushing it upwards while holding the finger down, and then simply just blending it, cleaning up those sides, making sure I don't get any spillage. And that's pretty much it. I absolutely love applying acrylic for fills. I feel like it's just so therapeutic. It's amazing to see a set of nails just be brought back to life with a simple fill. So definitely love doing acrylic fills. Now for our filing, we're gonna be starting off with my e-file at 10,000 RPM, same five and one bit from before. And I'm going in on the cuticle area, that's kind of just the route that I like to take. And then I'm gonna be filing the rest of the nails ever so lightly, just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. I do a combination of horizontal filing and vertical filing, just depending on what I feel is a little bit on the safer side. For longer nails, I try to stick to vertically filing just because I feel like I have better grasp of my handpiece and I don't risk the fact that it can skip. So we're just gonna play it safe and go vertically up and down. Very light pressure when doing this process. I just wanna smooth everything out. Now we're going in very, very lightly with our hand file, fouling the sides, making sure that everything is nice and straight. And then I'm gonna be squaring off that tip as well by flipping the hand around to look at the nails from her perspective and be able to really file them nice and sharp. You get a little glimpse of that in the video. I'm always out of frame, so I don't get to show the entire thing of it, but y'all get the gist. We're gonna be going in with the buffer. This is a Kiara Sky buffer. We're gonna be buffing those nails away until they are nice and smooth. Quickly cleaning the surface of the nail, you can always send the client to wash their hands. I just prefer to do this because it's quicker, we don't waste time, and we're getting to it. For our nail art application, we're gonna be using some Profiles Backstage frosting gels mixed with some of their liners. And for my brush, I am using the Not Polish one. We're gonna be doing Frenchies. My girl loves her French nails, and I am mad at it because I do think they're such a stunning look. But we are switching from the neutral vibes, which got me a little excited. Didn't know we would get to this point. So I was very pleasantly surprised when she asked for pink nails. She's gonna be attending a 90s party. So she wanted a 90s theme for her nails. And if y'all haven't seen this type of design before, you're probably too young. <laughs> but I love the look of it. Definitely giving very 90s vibes. So we're gonna be starting off with a pink 
base. This is a combination of a neon pink from their frosting gel paints and one of the pastel liners from their liners. And I mixed the two and just got this like perfect Barbie pink color. And I really, really love it. As always, I'm doing the smile line with my liner brush and then I infill the rest of the nail with my 3D nail art brush or whatever brush I have that is thicker that will cover more of the nail and make the work time a little bit quicker. We're gonna be curing in the light after I finish four nails and then I do the thumb afterwards just to be safe because I always feel like if they're gonna get messed up at any point, it's going to be when I flip their hand to do the thumb. So to play it safe, we're doing these four fingers back to back, placing it in the light, working on the other hand, and then coming back to the thumb afterwards. And then of course, before I go in and cure, we are going to be cleaning up the smile line, just making sure that they are nice and perfect. If I have any spillage of gel, I go ahead and wipe it as well before it goes into the light. Now for our design, we're just gonna be doing a combo of black, white, and bright pink lines and dots. So the key to this is to never overthink it. I think I say that in a lot of my videos, but you really shouldn't overthink these type of designs because you can't mess it up. As long as you're doing a combo of little swerved lines and straight lines and dots, you should be good to go. I'm gonna be spacing them out as best as possible. So I'm doing some at the bottom, some at the top and trying to only stay on that French design. And then once I'm done with the black, we're going in with the white and also just using a dotting tool to do our little dots. Super, super simple, and if you are ever stuck with a 90s theme design, just do this one. I promise you, you will not regret it because it is super easy, very, very quick to do. As long as you have the right nail art brushes and the right gel paint, you can slap this on in five minutes and you are done. So definitely excited that we got to do this because I have always wanted to do some 90s inspired nails. And again, they're just super, super simple and easy to do. Using my girls, dotting tool, my coworker had to let me borrow one because out of all the products that I have, I don't have a dotting tool. So I thought that was kind of funny. And I figured I would go ahead and just let y'all know that I in fact do not own a dotting tool. Now I'm going in with the pink, also same concept, just randomly placing lines, curved ones, connected ones, single ones, and then those dots as well. Of course, always cure in between layers. I did all the separate colors, cured them in between, went in with the next one. Once I'm done with the design, I go in with one final cure. Now we're going in with our top coat. This is glossed from Not Polish. And then we're gonna be popping that back into the light for another full minute. If you wanna be extra like me and be safe, go ahead and pop it in there for two rounds for two minutes. And just to make sure that everything is fully, fully cured. I'm gonna be adding some cuticle oil to her cuticles. It is a Sweet V scent from Profiles Backstage. If you didn't know, it's my collab with them, so definitely check it out. It smells so good. But that pretty much concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton. And I will see you guys next time.